Wow. Sigma's design in this one's not too bad. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. I like the, uh... Not wings, but... Like, his weird bone cape. He's still a bitch. <laughs> he does a lot of damage. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah he does. So, so, so this is even with the extra armor upgrade. He does a lot. If you don't have it, like, he can kill you really fast. He's got Aspis. Or whatever. What? What was that thing called in, uh... In Borderlands for the, uh... Gladiator... Ages? Yeah, so like, he I does, thought it was called the he does, he does a lot of damage to you. <laughs> That's fine. He's, yeah, he's really is. dangerous. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, I thought it was Aspis. That, that'd be pre sequel, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because you're talking Athena. about. Athena. Yeah. The assassin. Oh, I'm a dragon. A D dragon? <laughs> God. Strive stronger. Far, straw stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Far stronger. Holy shit, boys. I think. You're already losing it, man. Strafanger. What? What the fuck? It's Gundam oh. Wig. Mm -hmm. He yeah. just looks like he's in Generals. Holy shit, dude. Looks like he took the, you remember that, that mouth of dog? He put that on the chest, modified it a little bit. He's just making ride armor. I love how small his head <laughs> I was just saying, he doesn't even, like, turn around. He's like, I can't be bothered with moving. I love that he destroyed his own missile. Oh, shit. I will say, though, I like this better than the fucking final form of him in X4. That was such an annoying fucking fight. Which one is that? Is that where he's well, it's the, the first, wall? Well, it's the first one yeah. where you... So he's like, in the cloak. So he, has the, he does, like, the Grim Reaper form first. Yeah. And then, then he comes out and he has, like, his, like, energy mace, like, that a, a attack. Yeah. And then his, his last one is where he has, like, multiple forms He, out like, there. swaps between, like, the four or five different... Oh, okay, things. yeah. That was so freaking irritating. Did you just fight him twice here, or...? Yep. Oh, so that's it? Yeah. Wow. Sigma, yeah. you a big bad bitch in this His one. His body's gone. The head's <laughs> still remaining. But this one, like, without the gold armor, you take a lot of damage. And without Fuck the saber, you don't do it. <laughs> no, it can't be! I can't even defeat you with this magnificent baddie! Except for he's gone. How is he talking to me? <laughs> there seems to be only one now. The Highlander. Yeah, I was always wondering, like, why isn't he tried for X? <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, X is too pure. His evil can't can't corrupt his pureness. They do have it in X5 where, where he is able to resist the virus, but if you if you get infected a lot, you, you end up taking damage. Mm. Wait, oh. you have to fight his digital head? Didn't you have to do that? Ah, shoot. Oh, boy. Ah. Oh, yeah. boy. Nice recovery, buddy. I'm assuming that does a lot more damage without this armor. Yep. Is he trying to eat you? It's black he knocks you, you off. Oh. Uh, yeah. Jeez. I was because that seemed even for as much damage as it did, that doesn't seem like it did all that much. Wow. Would do more, but I'm just Well okay. so much for that. Damn. It's a dead oh wow, I can't believe you said damn. Yeah, that was one where they where they, did, they didn't catch it. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm going to eat you. <laughs> no, it's my money. Was there one where Shut off the Wi-Fi, he can't possess you. Was there one where you fought X? Like, X does get corrupted, or no? No, but... but that would have been a cool twist. Him, uh, X5 is... Yeah, if you play a zero. Is oh. But it's... They, they, they think the other is, like... Is, like, infected there. Like, if X fights zero, he can be infected or not. And if zero sees X, he thinks something's wrong with him, too. Mm. So, wait, the virus just floats? Is, is the vector head his virus? Oh, it's a Wi-Fi signal. He's just blocking it. <laughs> this body sucks. It doesn't have Bluetooth. Ah. <laughs> That's X's real power. He has Bluetooth. No shit. Good. It's Bluetooth before Bluetooth. <laughs> It'll work. Oh. Well, son of a bitch. Sigma, you big baby. Aww. 
He's Why is there games in like overlooking like the castle and stuff at the end? Because he's got to reflect, yeah. man. I mean, because that's a, I mean, this is Castlevania all of a sudden. Also, yeah. Where's Maria? He would have zero here too if if, mm. if he, he hadn't been injured. I know it was impossible at the time, but it would have been cool if they had like a thing where certain things that happen in this game would then carry on to like X4. Yeah. Or you know what I mean? Like have some huge I, overarching effect. I, I do like how in X5 when you start the game, if you pick X he has his armor from X4 and if you pick him in the first level you keep it but if you pick 0 on the first level X loses that armor because he's, he's injured hmm. and vice versa. If you pick 0 on the first level he has a buster um, and he'll keep it through the game but if you don't pick 0 he loses it. Like he, get, he gets it chopped off. Oh wow. In the beginning. So it gives you incentive like to pick extra zero first and X five. Wait, his hand gets chopped off. Does he get a hand that becomes Sigma hand? No. Oh, no. I thought it was like Sigma. Metal Gear where uh, where what was his name? Uh, Revolver Ocelot becomes possessed because he took Liquid Snake's hand and oh, Liquid oh, comes oh, through. You played through the entire thing. <laughs> he brainwashed himself. They didn't bring up there though already that. Like, it's already cussed out. It's like, does Save Mankind, you must destroy Zero. No! But I already did! <laughs> but only time will tell when and why. Except for you're the evil one, X. You're the one that needs to die. Yeah, really. It's all you, your fault. If you die, the Zero line never happens. And if he dies, wiley has got no reason to create bad robots so anymore. I mean, Z Zero definitely is grim, but ZX is really uplifting. Mm -hmm. There it is. Gotta run, gotta run home. Gotta gotta go back. Longest run. Ever. Skycopter, Noter banger. Oh my so god. Killer. All the all the basic enemies. Where's Mungo Bungo? Rang the bang. Rang the bang. <laughs> That's what I said. He's on this one. <laughs> Ice Devow. Oh, Victroid. What the fuck? Wall cancer. Would've been nice if they had the, little the, things. The pictures? Yeah, yeah. What's a hammer hammer? Because you're just like, are these actual Tom Bort? Yep. I want the Vox. Escanale. Oh my god. Mao the giant. The in hey. intro boss. Oh. Genjibo and Shurikian. Hot Rebecca. Is that what that one was? <laughs> oh. The Rex 2000. And Mosquitoes. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh, this, uh... It just seems like they're listing off the names of the, the bad guys, yeah. but messing up the names. So, like, Volt Catfish was. They call them something else. It's like all the right armor types. Son and of now the boss. Bitch. Who's the show down? I still don't understand their power system. <laughs> it's as bad as Dragon Ball. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. 9200 RP. Revolutions per... Reploid power. Oh, Duh. baby. Is that what it means? I have no idea. <laughs> That's actually what I, I do not know. Maybe it's based on the penis length scale. Toxic Seahorse power at 5800 real penis. <laughs> Only one over 9,000 so far. Over 9,000! It's funny, he doesn't say 9,000 in Japanese. What does he say? Over 8,000. Oh. Because it's not funny with 8,000. It just sounds cooler, I guess it's dying. <laughs> it's the, it's the syllable, or like the, the, the consonant sound. Some words are just fun to say. Duffel bag. If you really think about it, it's really funny. <laughs> Neon Tiger, you're a bitch. He wasn't that fast. No, he wasn't that fast. Oh my god, look yeah, how he powerful. definitely wasn't that fast. He was not that fast. To me, it's like a difference of like the narrative idea of a character versus like the the, the, the gameplay idea of a character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mega Man X's power level is just gonna be X. God, so, car machine, oh, in there. So that, that's if bit and bite fuse together. Really? Yeah. Which, if you fight a melee, they, 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 they can do that. That's cool. Did yeah. they not show it because you didn't fight it? Um, yeah, I don't... I don't remember what they show that one. I, 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 
I think that they do, if, if you fight them. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird, because it didn't show, uh... It didn't show, uh... Vile in his... Right armor? In his right yeah, armor. Yeah, the second one just... I did not encounter him there. Well, duh, that's because it didn't fight you. It just knocked you down. It gave you a... Eh. Gave you a... Eh. He was a vector. You could just slid in between it. Just look at him long enough. He hurts your head. <laughs> I can't tell if you're far away or super What's your close. power level? I like two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thanks for playing. Mock pack. Captain Commando Haya! I still see his uh, life bar over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's burned the fuck into my screen. This TV's terrible for that. Oh, this TV's terrible for a lot of things. Well, I mean, we could be using the one that you had given me where the speakers are always at 9,000 pop, so. <laughs> the speakers aren't over 9,000! <laughs> Alright, oh, so that's this X one. X3 is completed. It just, it just goes? Yeah. It just loops the music and everything? Yeah. I think if you hit start, Holy it resets, shit. but... No. I don't think so. No. Oh. Wow. All right, so Tim, what's your rating? Fuck. Um, I mean, Mega Man X3. I have a hard time rating these games because I... I boiling it down to a number is difficult mm -hmm. for me. I mean, if I had to give one to the first game, it's a perfect score, just because that hits everything for me. Out of principle. Um, what, what would you give this game for a difficulty? Um, it, I mean, it depends how you play it too. Like, if you get everything, true. it's not. And um, I, I don't think it's that difficult. Um, a lot of it's like patterns and just getting stuff. Like, even when I'm, you know, half paying attention, still got through it. Like there. Um, so, t to me, it's not as difficult. Except for the final sigma fight. If you go in not prepared and you don't have a lot of stuff. Oh yeah. You take a lot of damage. You're gonna get schmaltzed. So that's one that it, it can be uh, pretty pretty grueling at, 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 at that one. But for the rest of the fights. As long as you know what you're doing, you can waltz through them. Mm -hmm. So, maybe like a two out of five for difficulty, something like that. It's it's. I, I don't think it's very difficult. Uh, two out of five, so four, about a four out of ten. Three or four out of ten. Yeah. yeah. Let's see so, that. um, yeah, not very difficult. I mean, as far as fun, um, I would rate it very highly, just for, just because it's there's so much you can do to to you know to to replay the game, you know, mm -hmm. the, uh, the different encounters that you can do. And the, the stages are really interesting. Uh, they have, you know, really different kind of perspective. Like, I, I like that the, the stages aren't overly long in some places. Yeah. Where they, they have there. But the only downside is they don't play into the gimmick of the boss as well. Like, in X1, I felt like Storm Eagle stage was like a ship, and it felt like him. It did a lot. Whereas some of the stages here, I think, don't tie as well into the boss of the design. It's more just yeah. a place to fight yeah. him rather than an actual like, part of the story. Yeah. So I was also hoping they tied more like their things too. Like if Gravity Beetle stage had more things to manipulate gravity, I would have liked that idea. Like it may be an area where gravity is more intense, so like you can't jump as high, or an area where it's lighter, like that. So if they did something like that, I I, I thought that would have that would have tied the whole thing better. Yeah, yeah. Um, it would have gave you a feeling that you were they were in their domain. So as opposed to just yeah, yeah like just some random location. So and I can you know see which way you're doing it, but like again, X one did that really well where it felt like that was their level. Mm -hmm. um, X four I thought did that really well with like Cyber Peacock stage is like you're being graded, like he's trying to he's trying to analyze he's your powers. Yeah. So you get, if you get there doing everything perfect, he's like, oh no, like you like he's he surpassed all of my tests, and if you, if you don't, he's like, okay, like you're not a big deal. <laughs> so um, that to me makes it really interesting. So this one didn't do that quite as much, but it does have a lot of just. It's just a lot more, like a lot of things you can do. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you can kill Bit and Bite on the first time, or you can not and fight him later. Or you have Vile and you can fight him later if you want to. You can get Zero Saber. You have like the Gold Armor or the second chips. So to me, it's just it's really cool. And as always, like I love the, the feel of the game. It's really fun. It stays consistent with X one and two, and like the armor is really cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, so, I'm what gonna do you guys think as someone who's not good at Mega Man. <laughs> See, that's my problem, is I love the Mega Man games, but I'm uh, not the greatest at no. them. Uh, Difficulty-wise, I would say... See, I wish I remembered what we gave the other ones. To me, the bosses felt more rudimentary, if that makes sense. Like, their patterns were... None of them seemed overtly difficult. 
if that makes sense. But then again, you had the weapon for some of them, so you really didn't get to experience what they did. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. Like, besides Sigma just completely destroying you, even with that upgrade, mm -hmm. not destroying you, but kicking your ass pretty yeah. good, like, it, it didn't really seem like any of the bosses had anything that were that was like, oh, shit, like, it caught you off guard. Yeah. Well, if it's like, I, I know what they do. Yeah. So, like, I, I could afford to relax and talk and do things like that. So, just a lot of it's, a lot of it's, you know, finding yeah. out their pattern and adapting to it. Like you said, the stages kind of don't match what they are. And I feel like the stages really weren't all that clever, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, there were hidden areas, but they they almost looked, without that immersion part where where it matched the, the, the boss, it kind of almost seemed like a nuisance to get to them. It was like, I, I don't know, like... You play four, and it kind of, like, their environments draw you in. And then that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or even, like, one, where it kind of felt like you were, you're there, where, where they're supposed to be. Kind mm -hmm. of like how in the original series, where their stages matched them. So it yeah. felt like you were immersed in, in, in that area. But this one, yeah, you're right. It kind of, it, it doesn't match very well. But I love a lot of the, I mean, you, yeah. Difficulty, I'd say it's maybe about about a five or a six. I would say it's about middle of the road ish. I would say two, maybe. So far, it looked a little harder from what I remember. But this one has so much as far as like extra content, like yeah. bit and bite, and and killing them early as opposed to later. Vile and X with the saber. So like fun wise, I would definitely give this like an eight. Eight or a nine, because this one is really, really good for like that attention to detail, and I, I, I like the powers. The powers are cool. I like the gold armor thing. Even just getting a single upgrade, this one does have a lot of replayability. I can definitely the music's, the music's is really always cool. good. But yeah, I I would say it's about five or six for difficulty and like an like a eight or nine for fun. What do you think? wrong you're just wrong no uh fun is definitely a nine um yeah like you said it's just there's, there's just enough there's enough variety that the game is replayable without being boiling down to where it gets boring mm -hmm. and then i think difficulty yeah probably about a five because when you know what you're doing and, and like you know how the enemy patterns work especially for the bosses like you can just kind of flow with it, and it goes pretty good. There's nothing that that feels cheap, really. Yeah, I didn't yeah. see anything that was like yeah. too terrible, like that wise. So yeah, I think it'd be about a five. That's difficulty. that's always why I've I've been a big fan of the Mega Man series over something like like early Castlevania. I think that people are like oh Mega Man's hard. I'm like no, like it's tough, but it's fair. Like it's yeah. it, it telegraphs the challenges to you. It's always like here is a pattern. Like figure it out. So. It's not like, oh, this thing came off screen and killed me because I couldn't see it in time and I was on a stairway. Yeah. So I, I felt like it's it's usually been like, here is something coming up. Mm-hmm. Or it, it, it had like a gentle learning curve mm -hmm. to where it did it with no spikes and there was one enemy. Then it's like there are some spikes and a couple yeah. enemies and then the, like the whole thing where there's like little platforms and a lot of enemies coming mm -hmm. at you. So it kind of gently pushes you towards that direction of, mm -hmm. of learning how to overcome your obstacles. Whereas Castlevania is just like, here's some shit, and it's going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it's it's a really good one. I'm, I'm happy I got to see this one in its entirety. I, I really like this one. This one would rank up there with me. As I, I don't know if I would quite rank it as high it, as four, personally. but It is it is pretty expensive, if you're going oh, to this yes. one. But there are, thankfully, many ways to play it. It's available in so many formats. So if you, if you can't get the original SNES copy, um, you can get it on the Legacy Collection that's mm -hmm. out now for, you know, PS4, Switch, Xbox, Steam. Hell, um, PS2 even yeah, had the, a Mega Man X Collection. Yeah, PS2 and GameCube had an X yep. Collection with it has 1 through 6 and uh, Mega Man Battle and Chase on it. Um, it's available for download on 3DS and on Wii U, and yeah. it's available on, like, the Saturn and PS1, so there's, there's so many ways to play it. Uh, as a, just as a note, um, the game is slightly different. So if you, the Super NES version has a different soundtrack, if you play the Saturn version, that has its own soundtrack, and it adds some animated cutscenes. Mm. And the version 
in the PS2 and GameCube collection is based on that PS1 Saturn version, mm. whereas the version in the new X Legacy collection is based on the Super NES version. Oh, that's so, weird. So, mm. unfortunately, it doesn't let you toggle between the two. I would have liked that to let you switch that, but they, but they don't in either case, so it's just one or the other. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's the same game, it's just that, you know, um, different soundtrack and those animated scenes. Yeah. But, but, but those are... The, those are really cool. So if you want to play it now, there are many options available too. So you don't you don't have to shell out a ton of money. No. In fact, this game, as of this video, on PriceCharting.com, has it listed for one fifty four. Loose or complete? Loose. Oof. This is an expensive one, baby. Yeah. This was a rough one. Um, if, Worth it though. I I, so. If you love Mega Man, yeah. and and this would be a crown jewel in your yeah. Mega Man collection, yeah. for sure. I think if if you are into retro gaming and like and Mega Man is your thing, then I think this is a great one to own for that. If if you Absolutely. are if you are a purist for that, then like that's something. Yeah, I would I would definitely recommend having. If it's something that you just want to experience but don't want that price tag, like he said, there are a shitload of ways to play this game. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And it, it's pretty faithful in all those. Like, in the collections, like, there's... Yes, there is some input lag. It's different from playing on the... Like, if you're playing on a SNES with a CRT, like, that's one thing would be perfect, but um, it's still it's still a really good experience. So mm-hmm. if you're playing with those legacy those legacy collections, it's uh, it's still very playable and it holds up really well. These All of these games really do. Mm-hmm. That's what I love about, like, this era, is these games can honestly be plugged in and played, yeah. and it's still... Besides some of like little context things here and there that people might not understand, they all hold up very well considering gaming in this generation is kind of reverting back to that era, but with like polished graphics. Yeah, I I do think that these kind of games like they they still look nice. Um, It's something where that you know that that pixel art is aged really gracefully, Mm -hmm. and it's it has a sense of mechanics and visual language that still work really well mm-hmm, where i think a lot mm-hmm, of like mm-hmm. early 3d games you know now look really rough and hard to control it, it, it's and difficult to experiment in the space whereas this is like you can you know you put this in front of someone and they might think it was an indie game that had been released by someone yeah so they think oh like this is a great pixel like you know 2d action game yeah absolutely so it's, it's something that i think is really easy to to get into i would say so yeah and if you haven't played uh, any X games, you know, you could do a, a whole lot worse. So you could, you know, even if you're not going in order, you know, whichever one you pick up with, I think that, you know, for this for the Super NES era, like you're you're gonna have a good time with with with, with any of those three. Yeah, I would say if you're getting into the X collect or the X series, start with one because yeah. I think one is the most accessible and the the cheapest, if I'm not mistaken. Well, to be honest, if you're just getting into the series now. Your best bet is to go for one of the collections. Oh, absolutely. Um, just because they make the most sense, like, price to game, game-wise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's so much content for those for, for the prices, especially for, like, the, the ones, like, on the Switch and stuff like yeah. that. So mm-hmm. that's, that's usually the best jumping-off point for this. Yeah. And then, I, I mean, if you get to the point where you really love it that much, then maybe seek it out and get the original copies. I would say so. Yeah. Well, shit. That'll do it. Thank you very much, Tim, for joining us. As always, we love Mega Mans. Thanks hey, for having me on. Absolutely. You did fucking great, except for the one little flub on the spike. Yeah. But fuck it. That's because you were distracting him. I was. Uh, for me, I just, I, I just like, enjoyed just talking about Mega Man. So. Yeah. <laughs> so hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on Twitter. Go to powertripgaming.tv. Takes you directly to the channel. Watch all our other videos. Watch... The Mega Man games, both the NES and the SNES versions that we've played with Tim. Listen to our Mega Man Powercast that'll be out at some point. It might not be by the time this episode comes out. I said at some point. At so. some point it will be coming out, as Tim was on it as well. Uh, we talk about Mega Man and the entire franchise to date, or at least as much as we could cover. <laughs> it's a two-hour conversation. So. Two, as they <laughs> mostly have been lately. Um... But yeah, that's on iTunes or Stitcher, the Power Trip Gaming Powercast. Uh, if there's any other games you want to see us to play or uh, series that you like, you're interested in seeing for us to do on SideQuest, let us know on Facebook or Twitter, on our YouTube comments. We'll we'll look into them if we don't already have them, and we'll look at playing them. And yeah, if it's something you think we would enjoy or something you'd like to watch us suffer with. Because that... Especially when it's Paul, the second option, please. That seems to happen a lot. <laughs> But that'll do it next time on Power Trip.
Mm, we're not playing anything better. But we'll play we'll, something No, better. we're not. We'll play something. I well, said I, we're I, not playing something better. I guess it depends if you think X4 is better than X3. X4 is better than X3. We'll play something of equivalent or lesser value. <laughs> 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 like a buy one, get one free. Mm. Mm. No. You could get a lot of things if you bought one and got one free in this fucking game. 150. Find anything else less than 150. Hmm. Not nightmare creatures. Not Hagani. Those are expensive. They are expensive. 